So now we're ready for part four of lesson three where we're going to adjust the outlines of our teddy bear's cap. So you all have been doing great. We're ready to use a completely different tool that we haven't used before and that's the Edit Nodes tool. Please click on the Edit Shape Nodes over on the left hand side and then click on the upper left part of the teddy bear's hat. When you do that, let's zoom in. And when you zoom in, what you can see is you can see there are several different nodes, different little dots and squares that are available for you to move and to change as you are working with your teddy bear's cap. What I'd like you to do is left click and drag on the furthest right node and just move that right into right next to that teddy bear hat, the centerpiece. Did you see how that moves the line right there? Now you're going to notice there are a few arrows that are con connected to these nodes. These are actually called Bezier nodes. Now don't worry about what that means right now. We're going to have more advanced lessons later. What you need to know now is these nodes help you so you can make your design and adjust the look of your design. So after you've moved the first node over to the center part, what I'd like you to do is move up to the right of your hat, so up toward the top button of the hat. And you're going to see there are three little nodes up here. I'd like you to go ahead and left click on that circular node. There's one that looks like a little circle. Once you've done that, I want you to then right click and you get a whole new menu. When you do that, you're going to see delete node. Please click on delete node and what just happened is that line went away from the node and it really snapped right to that center part of the cap. So go ahead and left click outside anywhere so you can see how that looks really nice. It's right on top. So we're going to do a similar thing for the other part of the teddy bear's cap, that bottom part. So left click on that, then left click and drag that node over so it lines up here and then come up toward the top, left click on the round node, right click and delete the node and then left click off. So now you can see, let's zoom out just a little bit, you can see how we've put those lines right on top of one another. Again, we're going to get more into this as we go further along when we get into m the next step lessons. So right now we just want to put those lines on top and you've done it. You have made your teddy bear as an outline. Isn't he cute? He uh, stitches out beautifully and so now we're going to go ahead. I want you to adjust that cap and then we'll come back and we're going to save this not only as the draw file format as we've learned is very important. We're going to also save as a sewing machine file format and also we can export to a quilting format. So come on back when you get finished and we're going to do those last three saves.